I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm so pissed off. I'm so annoyed. Are you so pretty? Yeah. I bought my MacBook Pro. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. This is a very impromptu video that I've just decided to do today. I've got like no makeup on. Wow. Yeah. I can tell you use L'Oreal on your face. <laughs> today, my laptop died. I can't make videos about it. And so until I get a new laptop, I can't make any videos. So today is Sunday where I would usually be in an editing haze the whole day. I was like, what am I gonna do today? Like I, I literally could not think of what to do. And then I thought, I've never done the try a chapter challenge tag, whatever you whatever you call it, I don't know. By the way, before we get into this video, I do have a Ko-Fi link down below where you can support me for the cost of buying a coffee. I'm gonna be buying my laptop hopefully this week. You'll know if I have it, if I've got this video up. I'm gonna be, my parents are gonna be buying it and I'm gonna be paying them back over time because your girl has no money. The bitch is broke! My Ko-Fi will be linked down below if you wanted to help, but don't feel obligated at all. Like, you guys have already helped more than I could ever have imagined. So anyway, into the video. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying a chapter of three different books today and then I'll decide which one I'm most excited by and we will read that. I have got three very different types of books. So the first is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. This is, I think this one best thriller at the Goodreads Award last year. It's about a woman who has killed her husband and then refuses to speak and is about people trying to get her to speak. I assume. The next book I picked was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. So Sabine and Yasmin are doing a read-along for this series and I've been meaning to read it for so long, like so long. It was kind of one that I was thinking about getting around to this month anyway and so I thought I'd put it in this video. I think there's like multiple Londons, there's like Grey London, Red London and we're following someone who can travel between them. I've got a love-hate relationship with V.E. Schwab, like Vicious was one of my favourite books ever and then Vengeful was two stars. That's so upsetting. So that's a fantasy. And then lastly, I thought we'd throw in a classic for a bit of a shrink. This is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. This is about a woman who has a really monotonous, boring life. And then one day she just decides to throw in the towel and live for a day. I want to read more books from Persephone Books, which if you don't know is an independent bookstore in London that publishes out of print women's work. I think I'm gonna start with A Darker Shade of Magic because that's on top of the pile. So I'm gonna read the first chapter of this and then I'll let you know what I thought of it. So, initial thoughts on A Dark Shade of Magic. <laughs> I did like it. I liked the first chapter. Essentially, Kel, our protagonist, is one of the few people who can travel between London. So he can go from Red London to Grey London to White London. Wow. It seems that he uh, communicates messages between the Londons uh, to the royal families. It was a good first chapter. It set the scene, introduced us to Kel. I don't believe that the king that he was talking to is going to play a major role. Like, I think it was more just to introduce us to Kel and what he does, but I am intrigued. I'm kind of in the mood for fantasy at the moment. Next, I'm going to read the first chapter of The Silent Patient. <laughs> Okay, so I read the first chapter of this and I really like it. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I really like it and I didn't even, I didn't want to pick this because I've been reading so many thrillers lately. Like I've read, so, I've been on a bit of a thriller binge, but so it opens with a diary entry from, is her name Alicia? Yeah, um, who is the woman who killed her husband. She was encouraged by him to start a diary because she was feeling down and like in her head. I assume we're gonna come back to the diary as it goes along. The way that this was written was very interesting. I think it was the therapist or the person who believes that they're gonna be able to get her to speak, whose perspective we're reading from. It was very intriguing. Like it was a real page turner and I really like the tone of voice in which it was written in. So like, I think this now trumps a darker shade of magic. If if I'm honest with you, but also I've read so many thrillers that like I kind of don't want to pick it, but 
It sounds so interesting. Okay, so I was going to move where I was sitting. I was going to go outside for the final shot, but I was comfortable and didn't want to. <laughs> what is wrong with this girl? What is wrong with this girl? So I just read the first chapter of Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. And like, it was fine. It was, it was fairly in good and fun as classics go. There were a few phrases that I don't agree with, but it's aged. I think she just got a job to go to uh, this like, party animal's house and be a governess but i don't know if she has kids so i don't know how it's gonna work out anyway i'm not gonna read this the whole time i was thinking there's no point me even reading it because i'm gonna read the silent patient for this video i loved the beginning of this i can't wait to hear what everyone's been talking about you may notice i'm back at my family home my parents home i'm gonna be here for a few days socially distancing because i'm not fully in their their household so we're back with the bookshelves we're back with the cats you want to say hello more, more. hi are you so pretty yeah yeah the biggest reason as to why i've come back is because i bought my macbook pro I never thought in my life I would own a MacBook Pro. So I went out and got it yesterday and I'm just so excited to be able to edit videos again and for editing videos not to be a pain because it had gotten like to a point where my laptop was just so slow and it was it was a real struggle. If anyone has any videos or tutorials or stuff just to like fully get me into how it works because I've never owned an Apple laptop before, let me know. She's beautiful. I haven't added a, any kind of background yet thank you so much by the way to everyone who helped me out on my ko-fi page for affording the laptop i can't tell you what weight it is off my shoulders the amount that you guys have helped me i think it's over 200 pounds i can't tell you what a big relief all the help that you guys have given me on ko-fi is so thank you from the bottom of my thank you so much if you've helped me out on there it really is amazing i'm so thankful Okay, I need to stop being soppy. <laughs> Back to the book. I'm only like 73 pages in, so I've barely read anything. I just haven't had a lot of time to read with like moving over here and everything. I am enjoying it. However, the major gripe I have with it is that so far it's been all about the psychiatrist or therapist. I don't know what the right terminology is, but the guy is speaking to her. It's been all about his life like how he met his wife and why he loves her so much and i'm like why do we why do we need to know this i really don't enjoy the parts about his life and i i understand that they, there will probably be a reason as to why we've learned so much about him i feel like that will end up being a reveal like why we're learning so much about his life but i really don't fucking care i don't care i don't care i don't care it's okay so far but like i don't feel fully into the thriller I've got another cat here. Do you want to say hello, Lexi? <laughs> you don't look very happy. You don't look very happy. <laughs> I'm not loving this. And I don't know if I'm crazy because everyone else loves this. I'm still having that issue where, to me, it seems so centered on the psychotherapist, the one who's narrating the story, when the concept is so interesting of this woman refusing to speak after she kills her husband. There's so much that we could explore with that. And we, we're kind of not, or not to the degree that I want to be. I just feel like it's so consumed by the narrator. And I tend to read more female thrillers, I think, like thrillers by women but i do read thrillers by men obviously but this is just so masculine in the way that like the women in the story are all framed through the men in her life like the woman who has killed her husband is so framed by her relationship with the narrator and the relationship with her husband and the relationship with all these men in her life it's just annoying me <laughs> i'm sitting on the floor and I guess I'm not really used to it. I'm not really attached to any of the characters. Like, the characters are just so bland to me. The writing is 
okay. Like it's nothing that I'm obsessed with. I am so fed up of his storyline. It's not bad. I'm just like, I don't need you here. You know, the, the concept of the book as a whole is so interesting. And then you've got this bog standard plot line for him. I just feel like I've read it before and I'm just not interested. Oh Lord. Again, a fucking game. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Same so, this is sad considering it had such a strong start. It's not awful, it's like a three. It's it's gripping in some aspects. Oh, by the way, I'm 200 pages in, so I, I only have a small bit left. I have about 130 pages left. It could pull itself up, because I've heard the ending is surprising and polarizing, so we'll see. Surprising and polarizing. Um, <laughs> do you want to say bye, Lux? Is that your bear? I'm not allowed to touch it. <laughs> I'm pissed off. I'm fucking pissed off. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off. <laughs> so I didn't like the ending. At all. You know what? I kept thinking. I kept reading it and I kept thinking, listen, they won't stoop that low. That won't be the ending. That that won't be it. That won't be it. And then it was. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm so pissed off. I'm so annoyed. It's so shit. So shit. At least be something interesting. It was fucking obvious the whole time. Why do people tell me it's had a surprising ending? It didn't. Bullshit. 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 Didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it. Didn't. I'm just really unhappy with how it ended. I'm really unhappy with the direction that the story took. I feel like it was utter bullshit. Why did this win? Why did you all like this so much? I don't feel like it's written that well. I don't feel like any of the characters are people you can connect to. I feel like there's so much, so much of the book is a waste. So much of the book is a waste. So much of what happens happens for no reason. Like no, re like it has no identity. Like it does not, it doesn't, oh, fuck it's, um. I was angry. I was angry. Would not recommend. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> but I'm giving it two stars. I'm giving it two stars. I'm giving it two stars. It feels right in my heart. It feels right. Another thing I just want to say quickly that I forgot to say last night was that I really don't feel like the bipolar disorder representation was good in this. It's obviously not something that I can really speak on because bipolar disorder isn't something that I experience. However, it did make me feel uncomfortable while reading it. I just felt like it wasn't a healthy representation to be putting out into the world and like giving people that perception of a person. And I I said this before, earlier in the video, but I really didn't feel like the female characters had their own identity, had their own experiences. It was all through the lens of the men in their life. So yeah, that's just like two more of my issues with it really. Well, the first chapter challenge, or whatever it's called, was a failure. I've been scammed. <laughs> Goodreads, winner of the year. Incorrect. 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 When the turn of the key, I'm pretty sure, was on there and came like second. I think Lock Every Door was on there. Both so much better. Please explain to me why you all liked it because I'm fuming. I'm fuming. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Um, I'll see you soon with another one. We all know it's coming this weekend. I'm so excited. My copy arrives tomorrow and it's gonna be so much fun reading Midnight Sun. So I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the weekend. Bye.